Last time we came to Daytona, it took two days to finish the race because of rain on a Friday night, and it was the nine car that ended up in victory lane. That race also went to overtime. William Byron, the rookie driving then. Today, it's the rookie Tyler Reddick, who won last fall at Kentucky driving for Chip Ganassi. And here, teammates helping one another. It appears Alex LeBay in the 36 is out of gas. Here we go. This is critical. Elliot oh, Sather's going to give him a big push. So does Ryan Truex. Nice start by Truex. They're going to be three wide before they get to turn one. Not wasting any time. That's the potent 18 car of Daniel Suarez giving a push on the high side. Really good for Ryan Reed. That's Baccarat. Ryan Truex pushing him. Dead even here, guys. Hang on to him, boys. Advantage oh, inside or outside in this apart. situation. The 16 and 11 broke apart a little bit. This is a solid push. We'll be interested to see what NASCAR has to say I about think, this. I think I, lock bumpers. I think I see him popping it. I think he was on and off. Sadler lets him go. Now he's getting too far in front. Tower's got to be really disciplined here. Manage these two lanes. Through the trioval, got to get to the white flag. Tyler Reddick's been in this situation before. Next flag ends the race, whether it's the checkered or the caution. This is when you drive the lap of your life to get a trophy at Daytona. Oh, Tyler's getting really far in front. Elliot Sadler's going to lag back and get a big run here. But we also got the 11 and 24 forming up behind. Here comes Kaz Grala. He's getting help. Coming to your mirror. Coming to your mirror. Elliot's going to get position on him. What's Sandler the 11 to the inside? Do? Ryan Truex looked to the high side. Reddick still out front. Here comes the 16 of Ryan Reed. Oh, this is going to be a photo finish, guys. We're going to bring this one right down to the line. Coming off a of turn four. High side of the white car is Reddick. Trying to get his second career win Elliot's of the season the open at Daytona. This but is... to the inside, it's Elliott Sandler. A oh, photo no. finish. Oh. Tyler Reddick's going to edge him out. And Tyler Reddick. At the line, pulls it off. Woo -hoo. Wow. Look at that. Junior Motorsports, another win on a plate track. And Elliot Sadler, another second place finish. His third in a row. Wow. Five of the last nine at Daytona have gone to Junior Motorsports. And here we are, right at the line Whoa. by that much. Wow. Elliot Sadler made a great move to get a side draft on Tower Reddick. He was just a little too late on it. I mean, he missed it by a tiniest of amounts. Well, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Holy cow, what a battle. Up here. We said throughout the entire offseason how great this rookie class is. And it's Tyler Reddick who strikes first, winning at Daytona in the Power Shares QQQ 300. Congratulations. This is his second win. Won last year in Kentucky. One in the truck. Yeah, one for you. Open yeah, up 2015. Yep. Second Xfinity win here. Good for you, Tyler. He's really worked hard for this one. You gotta like this kid because of how dedicated he is. So many times last year when he was sharing that 42 ride. With Kyle Larson, even when he wasn't driving, he would show up at the racetrack, be around the team on the spotter stand. We got the smoke going. Let's throw some burgers on the grill. <laughs> what do you say, Adam? And, and Tyler deserves a lot of credit. He made three good blocks in a row down the back stretch on, on Ryan Truex that kept him in position, and he didn't panic when Elliott Sadler got beside him in established position. Those moves put him in the right position to be able to capitalize and bring home the win. Wow, did you see that toss of the flag right in the car? You know what else? You've got to be appreciative of the car he had under him because when he broke out there, got five, six car lengths ahead, as the others closed on him, he had enough speed to hold that run off. So just a, a, a great car, a great job of driving by Reddick. That combination got him to victory lane. Sadler, we know, is second. Unofficially, Ryan Reed was third. Kaz Grala, fourth. Garrett Smithley ended up in a fifth position. Best of his career. Spencer Gallagher was sixth. Ryan Truex, seventh. Suarez, Chastain, and Brandon Jones, your top ten. Career best for Spencer Gallagher as well. 
Taz started the season off last year in the trucks with a win at Daytona, a top five in Xfinity. He's going to go in reverse to victory lane. This is a little bit of a push, but here's the last lap we were talking about. Here's how he works with the 11 and the one. He blocked the 11 to get here. That puts the 11 on his rear bumper, keeps him in line with the one. He's going to get on the side of the one car to, to side draft up and get away from him. Now, Elliott's got the same opportunity, and Elliott just waits a, just a tiny bit too long. But it comes out right back. Oh, my goodness. It just looked like Elliott did everything perfect, and he gets beat at Daytona about one inch. Wow. Tremendous finish. Beautiful. Beautiful job by both those racers. Great aggressive running. Look at that. Nearly four wide for fourth position. I think that was worth the wait. In a fifth overtime, Tyler Reddick gets his second career victory at Daytona. And despite the fact that he was a runner-up, an amazing comeback today for Elliott Sadler.